say they've likely lost millions of pounds of sand because of the storm. But beach erosion is just one problem there. Adam Weiner reporting uh, debris and ongoing power outages remain a big issue this hour. We've been all through Vero Beach. We're right off of Indian River Boulevard right now, and you can see some of what we've been seeing all over town. Uh, some palm trees literally snapped in half here at this intersection, and we are seeing debris all over this area. Trees uh, blocking roads, a lot of palm leaves in the roadways as well. In one case, an entire apartment building was inaccessible. We saw a public sign blown right off and crashed into a parking lot. And of course, there's also been a lot of power outages. We've seen state troopers and police officers directing traffic along US-1 intersections. And we've been talking to residents about the challenges they faced as well. How is everybody doing here without electricity right now? It's hot. Yeah, sticky, gross. Open my windows, but all I get is hot air in, so. Upwards of 90% of Indian River County has lost electricity at some point during the storm and aftermath. Crews working hard, getting that number now down to about 50%. Crews have also been out and about removing these heavy palm leaves from out of the roadways. They are still a hazard, and you're highly encouraged to avoid driving if you can, as they are still a danger, and you're really encouraged to wait until they are removed from the roadways. In Indian River County, I'm Adam Weiner for WPTV News Channel 5. Thank you, Orlando. Thank